Well, uh, Mrs. Latham said she was seriously considering donating money so we could get a cryogenic centrifugal pump. Oh, yes. wow! And then she stuck her tongue down my throat. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay, we can't keep explaining everything. Read that book we got you. She hit on me. Wait, wait. Are you telling us that old lady wanted to have sex with you in exchange for giving your department millions of dollars? I think so. You lucky duck. <laughs> a broken toy, aren't you? I was able to get out of there before anything else happened, but she wants to see me again tomorrow night. Excellent. What are you planning to wear? What? Wait, Penny, you're an expert on trading sexual favors for material gain. Walk him through this. Well, no, no, hold on a second. I, I'm not going to sleep with her. But we need a cryogenic centrifugal pump. Forget it. It's not gonna happen. But, but come now, Leonard. This may be your only chance to make a real contribution to science. I repeat, not gonna happen. What was all that about me trading sexual favors for material gain? It was a compliment. <laughs> I believe in giving credit where credit is due. It won't be too late. I'm just gonna make a final pitch for the funding and then say goodnight. Hold on. I have something for you. What's this? Just a few things you may need tonight. Uh, baby oil, condoms, and uh, a little something I procured from the School of Pharmacology. They say it is to Viagra, as Viagra is to a green m, &M. I am not going to have sex with her. Maybe this will overcome your reluctance. I went on the internet and found a photograph of a 25-year-old Mrs. Latham to get your libido humming. <laughs> Check out those saddle shoes. Wow. Are you insane? I'm not going to prostitute myself just so we can get some new equipment. Oh, come on, why not? Oh. It was foolish of me to think someone your age might ever be interested in someone like me. Oh, don't say that. You're a very attractive woman. Oh, please. No, it's true. Well, aren't you sweet? Just for the record, You'd remember a night with me for the rest of your life. I'm sure I would. But why, why exactly? You're a very smart man. How do you think I landed such a rich husband? I hadn't really given it much thought. Well, think about it. You mean... Yep. I'm that good. Oh, what the hell? Good morning, slut. What? Oh, please, I recognize the walk of shame when I see it. All you're missing is a little smeared mascara and a purse with panties wadded up in it. What's going on? Oh, nothing's going on, excuse me. Are you just getting home? Yeah. That's a good sign, right? Oh, yeah. I'm so proud. You. you sold yourself out like a common streetwalker. No, I didn't do it for the money. She stiffed you? I believe that's what your roommate did to her. What? Again, read the book we gave you. No, I mean, I, I, I got the money first. Smart. Get paid up front. Yeah, I think you have a real knack for gigolo work, Leonard. I'm, I'm gonna go lie down. It's a good idea. Get your rest. There are a lot more rich old ladies out there, and Daddy needs a new linear accelerator. <laughs> I, I thought he didn't learn anything from his relationship with you. Hey! Another compliment. Learn to recognize them. 